And so today I have the legend of the lake, Dave McLaughlin, the premier real estate agent of the Agora Hills and Malibu Lake area, here at the pleasure and privilege of seeing him today. Dave, tell us, what was it like growing up on the lake? Uh, growing up on the lake, Jen, was the most incredible environment you can imagine. Fishing, catching snakes, we had birds of prey as pets, raccoons, it was, it was no better life. That's fantastic. And, and you've been here for how long, Dave? You never left. Family moved here in 1956. So this is the house I, I was in when, I was, when we were three. We had another one down the way. So yeah, we've, we grew up here. I went away to school um, and then came back. And then when the folks passed away, uh, the siblings asked us to buy them out. So we, we did that. That's amazing. And we're very grateful for the opportunity to still be here still share this incredible environment with our friends and family. That's why they call you the legend of the lake. And <laughs> yeah. and truthfully, I think you made that name up. I did, yeah. yeah well, yeah. It, so. it just came to me today. There well, was a message you. from I, the water I, yeah. that trickled yeah, thank up. You. And uh, so in general, how many homes are on the lake? Well, there were 134 homes that had lake rights. Mm -hmm. But after the Woolsey fire, we lost 34 of those. So there's currently 100. But if you look around, you can see a few being rebuilt. So I think there's seven or so that are being rebuilt right now. So hopefully the lake will get back up to that full capacity of 134. Perfect. And some have lake rights with docks and boats and others don't. No. Right around the lake, if you're within the 250 acres, Shen, everybody yeah. has lake rights. Okay. If you go behind the community into Lakeside, uh, that's more of a normal operation, but they do not have lake rights, but they can look at the lake, walk around the lake, but they don't have the lake privileges that the people within that 250 acres do. Okay, and what kind of fish do they stock in the lake? Uh, they don't stock, it's self-perpetuating. Wow. Uh, it's been that way since I was wee little. And uh, they have bass, catfish, crappie, bluegill, and carp. We do have a bit of a carp problem, but the lake has fishing contests and things like that to try and eliminate the invasive species. Ah, a little bit of a traffic jam down below. A little bit of a traffic jam, but it's as you and your sons will find out, it's an incredible fishery and it's a, a, it's a blast just sitting down on the dock catching those big fish. We look forward to it. Do so you eat the fish? Um, I grew up, that's a great question. When I grew up here, there was really nothing upstream. But now, you know, with 64 miles of runoff and new developments and golf courses and gas stations, I don't eat the fish anymore. But every Saturday night growing up, we would catch the big channel catfish, skin them up, and my mom would do the baked catfish and have a fish fry for all the kids. So, oh, that's so, fantastic. But I haven't eaten a fish here probably in 12 years. Okay, all right. Out of the 100 homes that are remaining on the lake, right. how many of them have you sold, represented buyer, seller? I mean, as a percentage of my understanding as, as, as a broker on the outskirts coming from the coast and looking over here in 30 years, you're the premier broker. You've sold more houses here than anyone ever. That, I, I only attribute that to two things. One, I am lucky. And two, I was sort of a nice kid growing up, so people still think of me fondly. Uh, but I think I've sold 60 or 70 of the 134. How many are left? I've never really dissected that out. I'm not sure. Well over 50% in my book. Well over 50%. That's yeah. amazing. Lucky, man. lucky. Thank you. Thank my you. pleasure. We'll be back for fishing. Great seeing you. See anybody. Thank you. All right, thank you.